Do you want to be happy? Yes, that's it. Do you want to be happy? And I can hear you thinking, what kind of line is this guy going to take? But really, I'm just asking you as an ordinary human being like yourself, do you want to be happy? And do you know the answer that you or I would give to that question? Of course we want to be happy. That's the point of living, to be happy. I do want to be happy. And yet there's a, another thought comes in right behind that one. But I, I don't know that it's possible. Indeed, as the years pass, I grow increasingly doubtful as to whether it is possible to be happy. But yes, I, I do want to be happy. And um, if I ask you, can you remember ever being happy? You'll say, well, yeah, yeah, I can. There have been moments when I've been happy. And if I ask you when those were, maybe you look back to some time when some circumstances occurred that seemed absolutely right. Uh, you met the right girl, or you married the right man, or you remember a vacation where the weather was just perfect, or you look back to a party where the people at it were just exactly the ones you wanted to be with, or you look back to some experience that had an excitement and a thrill to it, or you look back to some beautiful painting or piece of music that you heard, you look back to something that happened. Happiness is with the right happenings. And you look back to some circumstances that were exactly right. And of course, the reason for the importance of this question is that we're all concerned with happiness. We feel we ought to be happy. We are losing hope of being happy, but we feel we were made to be happy. And we tend to look back longingly to days when we were children, when we seem to have last been happy. It seemed that there was a time when life was simple enough so that you could be happy. But uh, it's years ago, and we've almost lost hope of being happy. And that's why so often we try to blot the whole thing out. If we can blot it out with a couple of sherries or a couple of whiskeys and soda, or if that is no longer working anymore, we maybe can blot it out by smoking the right stuff or by uh, injecting ourselves with the right stuff or... Somehow or other, we can reach that point of nothingness and of non-existence or of unconsciousness of our existence that will provide a kind of nirvana for us. It will at least blot it all out. And maybe we will not be happy, but we will at, not at any way be overwhelmed by the anxieties and the worries and the pressures that we have now. But deep down underneath all that old cynicism is the vague hope inside that we would be happy sometime. And that's why we listen from time to time to religious people, because when they talk about a kingdom of God, we kind of long for that. We feel, yeah, we were made to be happy. And of course, what we've been sharing over these past weeks is that we were made to be happy. You were made to be happy. But uh, the happiness that you were made for is a deep happiness. Uh, the greatest happiness you know that you can experience in this world is that of a real relationship of trust and love with another person. That's why the marriages that are successful are successful. Not because everything has gone right, not because all the money is there, but because uh, you are related to some person whom you can absolutely trust and whom you know absolutely trusts you and appreciates you and will stay with you through thick and thin. And that seems to bring a happiness that nothing else will bring. And what we've been sharing is that that's the happiness we were made for. We were made for the happiness of a love relationship with the greatest being in the whole universe, that is the being that created it, the God that made it, and that he actually made you to be his friend, to be his child, to be someone whom he could love, and for you to love him and know him, and that that brings complete and absolute happiness. 
Of course, we've given up all that old stuff. And so we're left on our own with uh, a kind of godless universe around us and ourselves very much on our own, isolated pretty well and uh, searching for the happiness that we feel we were made for. And it is true that we feel deep down we somehow, someday will find that happiness. That's why the uh, uh, gold uh, pot at the end of the rainbow is so fascinating to us. That's why the hope of somewhere over the rainbow, we always feel that somewhere uh, there is happiness and we ought to be able to find it. That's why utopia and the uh, dreams of an ideal society have such a fascination for us human beings. That's why we're always talking about the elixir of life, that perfect essence or substance that you will find that will be the meaning of life and bring happiness to us. And the unfortunate thing is that our fascination for happiness drives us to all kinds of resources and all kinds of activities in order to obtain that happiness. And you know some of them that we've got into. We are absolutely convinced that the only thing that will make us happy is circumstances. And so we find ourselves uh, dictated to by our circumstances. If it's a nice day, if it's the sun is shining brightly in the morning, if it's a spring day and the crocuses are coming up, we feel happy. We feel happy. If it's a dull day and it's raining and cold and windy, we feel miserable and depressed. If it's the Christmas Eve, we're all happy and excited at the office. If it's uh, the dull dog days of summer or the dull days of the depth of winter in February, we feel down and depressed. And so we become utterly dominated by external circumstances. We are like little dogs. We are dominated just by what comes into our eyes and through our ears from outside. It's so with even the things we eat. If we eat something that makes our tummy feel nice, then we feel happy. If we drink something that fe makes us feel nice, well, then we feel happy. If somebody smiles at us, we feel happy. If somebody glares at us, we feel down. It's the same with the economy. If the economy is going well, we feel a little more uplifted. If it's down, we feel a little more depressed. It's amazing how we've become puppets, marionettes that are controlled by the strings of circumstances, so that, in fact, our personalities have become perverted. Instead of a happiness that rises from within because of the love relationship with the infinite being behind the universe, we have a happiness that is dominated from without, from the circumstances around us, from the events that occur, from the things that happen to us. And so we go up and down in our lives. We're up one day and down the next. And it's interesting because the circumstances change so quickly. And the things that make us unhappy yesterday have changed today, and so we're happy. And the things that make us happy today have so often changed the next week, and we have every reason for being unhappy. So we go up and down like yo-yos, with little stability and, above all, little happiness in our lives, because our happiness is dominated always by what happens to us, by our circumstances. So, in so many ways, we have become like little robots, little marionettes that are tugged by strings, the strings of events that happen to us. And so many of us find and feel, therefore, that our lives are governed by chance, by sheer chance. We talk about being lucky. We talk about luck. We talk about the force being with us, or luck being with us, or us being lucky today, or something nice happening to us today. But uh, all in all, we feel less and less in control of our own lives. And we feel more and more that we are not people or individuals. We are just the chance effects of the events that occur in our lives. This gives us great insecurity, great lack of happiness, great uncertainty, great discontentment. And so we have, in a way, become monsters that are governed by the events that happened to us, and yet we still have not found the happiness that we were made for. And that happiness, of course, comes from a relationship that is far greater and far more stable than the passing events that occur in our lives. Wouldn't it be great to be independent of whether the day was dull or sunshiny, whether the events were good or bad? Is there such a life possible? There is, but we have undoubtedly a problem of a personality to take care of in order to enter into that.
Let's talk a little about that tomorrow.